Hello everyone. Welcome to our video series on data science using Python. In this video, we are going to see the applications of system of equations. Okay. So this is the this is the second part of our linear algebra. Okay. And we have a problem stated with us that is see suppose we have a system of linear equations representing a small network of water tanks okay then there are three, three tanks tank a supplies water to tank b tank b supplies water to tank c okay and the water flow rates are such that that when it's uh, when it's going from tank a to tank b so it's going in three units per minute okay and from tank b to tank c it is going in four units per minute and from tank c the tank c receives an external supply of two units per minute okay so now what we have to do here we need to determine the steady state water levels in each tank okay since we have to basically specify the levels in each tank water levels in each tank so for that i have specified an equation based on this problem this equation is like that that for tank a it will be x a minus 3 equals 0 now here the x a x b x c as the flow rate from each tank okay so for tank a it is x a minus 3 for tank b it is 3 x a minus 4 x b equals 0 and for tank c it is 4 x b plus 2 minus x c equals 0 okay now what we are going to do now we will now we will write our equations these three equations in matrix equation format okay into a x equals b format means coefficients of x and the constant will uh, just we'll just move the constant to the right side of our equation so x a equals 3 3 x a minus 4 x b equals 0 and 4 x b minus x c equals minus 2 okay now from this matrix equation we will determine our two matrices okay so this will be our matrix so now what we are going to do now we will use python for solving uh, the system of equation okay for finding the solution of the system of equation so first of all for that we are going to use a numpy library so we will import numpy as np then we'll create a, a matrix in that first we will use our method matrix and because we have all the matrices now means all the row and columns with us so what we are going to do we'll put all of them and from each row for separating each row we will use semicolons so minus 4 and then there is 0 then semicolon then there is 0 4 minus 4 so this is our one matrix then we will create the constants matrix so for that we will store it in b again we will create matrix and that is 3 0 and minus 2 and we have to transpose this because this is a 3 into 3 matrix when it has 3 columns also and this will be 3 into 1 so that's why we will use the transpose method to transpose into 3 columns also okay now we'll do what we'll create a solution object in this object we are going to use our method that is np dot linear algebra means lin l dot solve method okay and in this method we are going to provide our two matrices okay one is the coefficients of uh, the x a x b and x c and one matrix is the constant matrix and let's now do what we will print that the steady water levels are then we will print That for tank A it is 
and for printing we are using the f strings so for tank a it is solution and we'll fetch zero then and so on we fetch it for tank b also for tank b the second one will be there means we will access the second element which is by axing by giving the one number because indexing in python starts from zero so zero one and then we we'll write here two and here we'll make the change to c okay now let's just look at the solution okay so we forgot s here so now we got the value that for tank a the level is three for tank b the level is 2.25 and for tank c it is 11. So I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you in the next video.